We're going to do some good old fashioned teaching in some 20 degree weather. It's like 80, what did it just say? 87% humidity and it feels like 10 right now. It's amazing. That humidity really does a number. It makes you feel pretty cold pretty quick. But that's what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about goats shivering. Now you might come out and find your goat shivering. What does that mean? Is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? What should you do about it? Let's let's talk about this and, and just figure out when there might be cause for alarm and when it's normal. So when it's cold outside, all animals, not just goats, but all of the, all the animals, you know, deer and cows and horses and all the wildlife, they all have several ways that they keep warm. Rocky here barks at the door and says, let me in. But the animals outside, the wild animals, they go into a valley. They go into a dense brush and bed down. They, they find a place that's out of the wind, out of the weather, and, and they tuck themselves in to stay warm. But your goats, they rely on you to help keep them warm. So, so you provide them a barn or a little shelter so that they're out of the wind, the rain, the snow, any of the weather outside. And that, so really you are a source of keeping them, them warm and dry in any kind of weather, whether you're in cold weather or, or a warmer or more mild temperature. It, they rely on you to keep them warm. So if your animals have not been imported, that, you know, they grew up here, or they've been in your area for a while, they, they become acclimated to your area. If given the chance, your animals' bodies will adjust to what's going on. And so our animals in the fall, they will spend their time and effort making a, a nice, very thick and dense coat that will help keep them them warm through the winter months and so during those fall months that's very key that all of the animals not just the goats they are are really putting on a, a heavy coat to prepare themselves for winter but if you were in maybe texas and you suddenly have a snowstorm which has happened in these last couple of years these random really cold uh, snaps that just come through and your animals aren't prepared they are like what is this there was no time to prepare they didn't know it was coming and they didn't have time to put on that heavy coat like my goats did and so they will probably suffer more than than my animals do during that cold snap your goats have shelter they have had enough opportunity to develop a really good hair coat they, they're out of the weather they're not wet they're not spending their time out just in the wind and the rain or the snow and they've, they've been given the proper nutrition and they're just healthy goats but you come out to the goat barn and they're shivering what's up a couple of weeks ago and, and throughout this winter, we've had several days of really cold, where it was negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit wind chills, and just negative weather for long extended periods of time. And I'd come out here, and my goats would be shivering. Should that cause me alarm? Should I be worried about that? So first of all, it's really important to realize that goats were made, God created goats with the ability, and actually it's not just goats, this is all animals, that he created animals with the ability to shiver. And it's actually a really important part of keeping them warm. So the goats' muscles are, then their large muscles are, contracting and expanding really fast over and over and over again and that process of doing that well when they're shivering is actually releasing it's creating energy and it's releasing heat when they're doing that so they're creating large amounts of heat by shivering isn't that neat so you cannot say that shivering is is cause for alarm or that it is oh no your goat is sick or oh no something is wrong you can't automatically say that so you just need to spend time with your goats you need to know your every one of your goats know your goat herd and that just will take time just come out 
and spend time with them so you know when things are normal and when things are off. So when you come out and you, you see them shivering and you can say, yeah, it's cold out. They're cold. I'm cold. I'm shivering. It's This is normal. Or you can come out and say, oh, that goat is shivering and I see other signs of sickness and this is a problem. Because your goats may shiver when they're sick as well. And what is the first thing that you're going to check if you think that your goat is sick? I wish I could hear your answers because if you have watched my Raising Goats playlist, you know the answer and I want to hear you shout it out. <laughs> I wish I could hear it. You're going to check your goat's temperature. If you take your goat's temperature and it's a high temperature, too high, it's probably something like pneumonia or they have some sort of infection going on inside their body. And if their temperature is too low, then their body is actually shutting down and you need to act very, very quickly. And that actually can be pneumonia as well. Usually with pneumonia, and you can watch my, my video on pneumonia on my channel, it's very good, it's something you need to know about. But if your goat has pneumonia, they, they have this big surge in temperature and they get, they're really sick and this can happen really quick too. But then as their body shuts down, their temperature goes low. So it could be a high temperature, could be a sign of pneumonia and a low temperature as well. So taking your goat's temperature will alert you to just what's happening inside. Take the temperature first. Now, it's really important to also just take into consideration what's going on around you. So, if it's really, really, really cold and I took my goat's temperature, it's highly possible that they are, their body temperature will be slightly lower than normal. Or if your goats are out in the pasture and they just come in running from uh, the heat of the day, they've been out there in the sun, it's very hot, and they come in, come in um, because you came and called, called them or something and you were to take their temperature, their temperature might be slightly high. Uh, and then as they cool down in the shade, it would come back down to normal. So uh, this is why if you just regularly take your goat's temperature and, and document that in my goat binder, then you will know kind of the, that baseline of each goat's. Because like for instance, my mom actually when she takes her temperature, she's just a cold individual. Her temperature normally is actually usually low. And so she knows that and so she has to take that into account that if she has a fever, it's actually not as high as somebody that has a starting point temperature higher than she does, if that makes sense. So your goats are probably the same way. You just need to take into account what is going on around them. When you have an unusual, an abnormal temperature, it's too high or it's too low, and you see other sick goat symptoms, I'm not gonna go into that list now, I have other videos on my channel about that, but you see other symptoms that are, no, oh, my goat is sick, and they have a temperature, and they're shivering, you need to act quickly. And another reason that a goat might be shivering is because they're scared, they're stressed, something has happened to cause them to be alarmed. And that, you know, really, they're, they're acting in the same way we as humans do. When I get frightened, when I get scared, when I'm feeling like, ah, I start to shiver too. When I'm nervous, I start to shiver too. So your goats are the same way. When they're scared, and they, are, they might just start shivering as well. If you were to bring a goat, a new goat home, they're in a new territory, they're in a new place, there's new everything, they might stand in the corner by themselves shivering because they're just scared. So take that into account as well. All right, so we've talked about several reasons that your goat may be shivering. Uh, let's talk about then just a real quick, when we've talked about some of them already, but let's just quick go through what you can do if your goat's shivering. So first of all, take into account what's happening around you. Is it cold? Are they shivering because they're just trying to stay warm? Then you need to take their temperature. Is the temperature high? Is the temperature low? Are they shivering because they are sick? And then if you do come to the conclusion that your goat is actually shivering because they're sick, you need to figure out why. And in my goat binder, you can find that list of, of symptoms that, to just kind of go through. Is it because they are loaded with worms and they, they just need to be warmed and so you need to check their 
their eyes for anemia. Then you need to check their poop. You need to go through all of those things to figure out if it's that. And then there might be something like pneumonia. Are they sick with pneumonia? And if they are, you need to get something in them quickly uh, to, to counteract that so that they can actually fight through that pneumonia and make it. If they are stressed, try to put them and just ease their mind if there is a go another goat that just keeps wailing on them you know because they're they're new you put them in this new place and there's just this goat that just keeps at them trying to establish dominance or something like that can you put them in a different place put them in a place across the fence where they will be safe uh, that might be an option for a scared goat and, and going along with being sick, do they need to be rehydrated? Do they need um, a better quality hay? Are they getting enough hay? Are their teeth good? You know, there's just a lot of those things that you can work through to figure out what... Hello, chicken. <laughs> that you can just work through to figure out what is going on inside your goat and why they're shivering. But if it's cold out and it's high humidity and all of that and your goat's shivering they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're doing what God created them to do. They're shivering to keep warm. I hope that helps a bit with the shivering goat questions. I hope you are staying warm. We have a very cold week ahead of us, sadly, <laughs> but my goats have their fur coats on. They've got good feed and they've got their shelter here. So we'll keep an eye on them and I'll be thankful I can go in by the wood stove. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.